Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making both a napkin holder and a toothpick holder. For my napkin holder, I'm going to be taking a napkin for reference. I'm going to be taking paper, a ruler, and a pencil. And I'm going to start measuring how much of uh, space of material I'm going to be using. This one is going to be 6 inches per 5 inches. So I'm just going to mark two lines for that. And then I'm going to be working with polymer clay. But I'm going to just roll my clay in the shape of a snake. Now if you have one of these cool tools that can help you with the shape, uh, by any means go ahead and do it. Just pick the round one and it's going to help you have like, well, more professional looking snake than mine but if you don't have just go ahead and roll your clay until you have a pretty thin piece and then i'm just going to cut two six inches of that one for that i'm just going to be using an exacto knife and then i'm just going to be cutting two five inches then i'm going to be taking a uh, wax paper and it's going to be a lot easier for me to work over a wax paper piece plus it's going to be easier for me to transfer my final product once i'm done to my oven so i'm just going to arrange pretty much depends on the way you're working but this is the way i was working until you have a shape like this which resembles kind of like a rectangle and that's going to be the beginning of the base I'm just going to be working on like what's going to be holding the napkins themselves. So I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did before, but I'm going to be attaching them on the middle part first and this ones. And then two and just pushing the parts that made on the middle with the clay that I placed before. Now you can work with the color of clay of your choice if you don't want to paint it afterwards. But since I'm going to be painting this anyways, I really don't mind if I mix clays, which I was running out of the green one. Then I'm going to be taking a smaller piece of clay. I'm going to roll it, but not as thin as I did with the other ones. I need this to be thicker. So I'm just going to first cut two uh, pieces of this one and then those two into two more pieces. So I have four. Um, those I'm going to roll into the shape of uh, beads we could say and then I'm going to be adding a really tiny piece of wax paper on the top of that and I'm going to be placing any object that is um, kind of heavy and steady and that I can push it on top of my beads that is going to be making them the same height pretty much and once I have those pieces I'm just going to place them on top of my corners of my napkin holder or the base fun fact about this one this piece that you can see right here is um this one is green and the next one is going to be another color and that's because um i kind of lost the footage of this one while making the base so that's why i chose to do it again so i could show you how i did this one then i'm going to be taking a piece of paper i'm just going to be marking my two corners in there and i'm just going to kind of uh, decide how high i want my napkin holder to be and once i decide that I'm just going to go ahead and do my pretty design. This is an inspiration of a napkin holder that I saw at Target online. And I just want to try it with uh, using clay. So that's that's what I'm doing here. And take your time until you're happy with how it looks because that's going to be like the base for the walls, we could say, of the holder. Once I have the shape that I want, uh, I'm just going to take more clay. I can roll it as thin as you want it to be and then work over a piece of wax paper and just follow the line and I'm going to be doing the same thing three more times so I have four of this and I just add a bit of tape to my wax paper so my my template doesn't move that's underneath and I can work better with my piece of clay that's how the whole thing looks like right now I just arranged it as I'm going to be assemble it once it's baked and here I'm just showing you in a baking pan what it looks like before I bake it. I'm going to be baking it according to my package instructions. So yeah, the timing and the temperature pretty much depends on like the, the brand of clay that you're using. I'm using uh, Sculpey and how your oven works. But before we bake it, we're going to be working on the toothpick holder. This one is going to be pretty easy. We need some clay again. I'm going to uh, make a small bowl and I'm just going to then push it so I can have like a base here. I'm going to roll again more clay and this time I'm going to be placing this on top of my disc which is kind of like what it is and I'm just going to take another piece of clay and because I didn't measure my previous one I'm just going to place it on the top of in there just not pushing not doing anything just really lightly pl uh, placing it on the top so I can know how uh, much of this clay I need like I need two of those uh, donuts we could call them really thin donuts I'm just going to bake it separately 
And I'm going to be taking more clay into shape of a snake. So I'm just going to cut my clay. Um, and that's why I mentioned at the beginning that if you have one of those tools, it's going to be a lot easier and a lot faster for you to do this project. But you know, it nothing happens if you don't. But if you're looking for something that looks just a bit less like clay and a bit more, I don't know, some sort of metal, just use that tool. Now I found that this was a bit too not steady as much as I wanted it to be so I just wanted to add something else but I'm going to be taking a bunch of this uh, crap wood sticks and I'm just going to cut them in half. For that I'm going to be using my exacto knife or my cutter. Be really careful, I don't want anybody hurting themselves because of this video or they sell like this kind of wood sticks. I just did in half so I just went ahead and cut this in half and I'm just going to glue my wood sticks in like the snakes that I did before, which are baked. And for the tiny bits that you can't really glue the whole thing, I'm just going to cut it and then glue it. So everything is going to be a lot steadier with this. Once you're done gluing the whole thing and everything is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and glue my walls in the edges. For that, I'm going to be using epoxy glue. Don't work with um, school glue or white glue. Hot glue guns are not going to be working with this. I just tell you right now, that's just my experience. Add the glue, place in your piece, and then hold it in there for a few seconds. I just went ahead and added some glue on the corners where my edges meet for the whole thing to be just one piece. Now is the time to assemble our toothpick holder. The first thing we're going to be doing is attaching the clay sticks that we made before. Just work with epoxy glue and then just uh, hold your piece for about 10 seconds, each piece, so it doesn't move. And now I'm just going to be adding some glue to top parts of those sticks. I'm just going to go and place my, my huge ring or my donut on top of those things. So yeah, to paint, I'm just going to be working with black acrylic paint. And don't forget to cover everything, like sides, top, bottom, everything. This one is a lot easier because you can carry it on your hand and yeah, just paint away, covering the whole thing. And with black paint, it looks super different from what it was before. And again, it's just a few coats of paint. I'm not going to be adding any like top coat or gloss because I want it to be like matte as it is. And this is pretty much what it looks like. For my toothpick holder, I'm just going to fill it with my toothpicks. Again, it looks uh, made out of other material. I just love it. Looks like a cage, actually. What do you think of this one, guys? Let me know. I had so much fun making this one. I know it looks like super complicated and just like too many steps, but believe me, it's not. It's like super fun. Once you're done making one, maybe you're going to be wanting to make more like it happened to me. I just want to make a lot more. And the best part is like super affordable to make this one. If you're into making stuff, you're going to love it. It's going to keep you busy and happy if you're into just creating stuff and just making things out of clay. I feel like this video was super long, but again, I just wanted to share with you two in one projects for the kitchen or for your house. If you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And don't forget to share this one. I have a DIY home decor playlist, so you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.